Evening, folks, and I thought, oh, we should have gone live. Um, crikey, one or two in chat. Uh, happy New Year to everyone, first happy of all. Happy New Year, people. First, first and foremost, uh, evening, Andy Harris, evening, Grumpy Old Vapor, Simon, Voodoo, Lynn, evening, Lynn. Uh, did I say Andy? I did. Andy Harris at the top. Where's Manic? He's always there. Manic's Manic usually straight, straight in, no matter. He is, isn't he? Grey Vapor and Grumpy Old, yeah. The, Yep, that's everyone. There must be more in chat than that, isn't there? Let's have a look. 13. 13. 13. Uh, Dark Schneider. Good evening. Is it Schneider? Is that how you pronounce that? My birth. Um, good evening and welcome. And Keith, good evening. And a happy new year to you too. I've been talking to Keith um, once or twice over the last few days. So I'm, I'll get to a bit of that later as to what we've been ch chatting away about. Yeah. Uh, above the clouds, good evening. Grey vapour, good evening. So, did you have a nice Christmas, James? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. did you have a nice one? one? I did. Yeah, quite a peaceful, nice one. Um, I just realised I haven't got your name. Oh, what's going Shocking. on my screen? Why is that coming on? Go is on. it echoing then? Oh, are we echoing? Are we echoing, guys? Or are we all right? I just heard it go echo, echo. Yeah, something popped up on my screen. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Jay's fake review. Let's try that. Bosh, there you go. Well, that was an echo, wasn't it? Can someone just tell us if we sound okay or whether we are echoing? I've had some updates tonight as well. Did you get the updates? I've had a... I've no, had I haven't had any updates, updates yet. yet. Haven't you? Right, okay. There's probably one mm. He has grumpy old vapor. He's finally mm. well, I nagged him all over Christmas, and he's finally silenced his chair. No squeaky, no squeaky. No no <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're all good. It might be coming from my end. Let me just turn my volume down on my output speakers, and we might not get echo. Rasper, good evening. Uh, who else have we got? Coil Proby, good evening. I spoke to him on the phone the other day. Well, was it last night? I think it was. Uh, Murray, Murray Johnson, good evening. Yep, I think we're up to date. So no one... Oh, Jay echoing slightly. Hmm. Let me try... I have got it on the other microphone, so let me try changing that over. Uh, right. Hopefully that's better. If that sounds better, someone just put, that's better. Oh, yeah, Jay is echoing. Is that better? Yeah, it's doing what it did last time when we had the issue. <coughs> yeah, I think so. So I've changed me onto my other microphone. Hopefully that will... Should get... be working now. It takes a few seconds to come through to them guys. Yeah. 30 seconds, isn't it? <laughs> Good evening, Laurie. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, Laurie. I'm on, I'm on some brew tonight. I'm normally on squash or water. But I thought with our New Year... Show, I'll have what am I drinking in? I'm on the hard stuff. Timothy Taylor's landlord, nice bit of gear. That I like that one. Oh, all good, all good now. There you go, yeah. super job, way better. Excellent, that's good. That's the way we roll. Mm. Technically gifted. There we go. So, you're vaping on much tonight, James? What have you got? Oh, got a couple of bits on the go. I've got the uh, Ohmsmium 2. With the Flav tank from Alliance oh. Tech on the top. Yeah. And in that, I've got some Just Juice Kiwi and Cranberry. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the old Purge Enforcer sausage. And uh, on the top of that, I've got the Cali RDA with one of uh, this this guy that sells really awesome coils. This is, some, this is an alien in here. Oh, that's um, interesting. <laughs> yeah, alien coils from this guy called Nature Vape, like you know. Yeah, yeah, really, really good, really, really good coils. Go and get yourself some cracking. <clears throat> uh, and in that, I've got some um, gingerbread custard from work, advaping.com. Right. And uh, to finish it off, we're going old school, and we're uh, I've got some lime implosion or something like that. Uh, citrus imp. That's it, citrus imp. Uh, would you like mixed limes and stuff like that in right. a little old Genesis? Oh, lovely hybrid right. Genesis 14500. The battery's the same size as an AA battery in this bad boy, and 
you've done half getting some six milligram on that. It's uh, a bit of a key. Have a little two. Let's see that one. Lovely. Yeah. Nice little poof out of that. I like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the uh, the enforcer with uh, those aliens in. Don't half kick some clouds. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? <laughs> Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> uh, UK vapes to Rob. Good evening. Happy New Year to you. Um, Webley vlogs. Good evening. Happy New Year. Uh, Dion seventy eight. Kieran. Kieran's had an accident at work. Uh, I hope oh, you're yeah. feeling better and more comfortable, Kieran. He's Burnt his arm on some hot fat, I believe. So, uh, yeah, not not good. Not good at all. Good. Call Pro Me. I'm going down the frosted route, ultimate and transparent, but haven't ruled out polished. Right, I know what he's talking about. He's talking about the easy mod, and we'll we'll get to that in a little while as well. Um, everyone else just saying hello. What's that? Oh, sunny Kenya. <laughs> yeah. Kenya. Good old Kenya. Poor Australia, aren't they suffering at the moment? That's un unbelievable. Yeah, poor animals, man. Yeah. Well, that's to be fair, it sounds heartless. That's what I, that's what I feel sorry for is the animals. Yeah. Um, yeah fucking hell. They're been, I mean, cert certain species are almost extinct now because of that fire, aren't they? You know, it's fucking horrible. Mm. Graham Mabley. Mabley? Yeah, Mabley. Good evening. Welcome. Happy New Year. Uh, I think everyone else is a duplicate, is a duplicate. Yeah, we're there. So, what am I above the clouds? Did I mention him? If not, good evening. I think I did actually. Crikey, I'm way behind already. Um, Webley, anyone got experience with the Geek Vape Squonk Kit? I haven't. I haven't tried that. No, me neither. Well, that's answered that one quick. Right. <laughs> that's the end of that. Sorry, Webley. I haven't tried one. The Geek Vape, usually the mods are pretty good, but their drippers are a bit meh. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't essentially disagree with that. Kieran, let's put that one up. Then I'll tell everyone what I'm vaping on. On the screen. Um, oh, Pratt of a Chef spun around and poured a hot skillet of oil over me. Called him out. I'll bet, I'll bet you did, Kieran. <laughs> cool. Well, you know what they say. Well, there's a blame, there's a claim. Don't forget to smash that <laughs> thumbs up, guys. There's 41 watching and only eight thumbs up. Go and get that smash up. <clears throat> Uh, Andy Harris, your uh, Webley vlogs, right? Yeah, he's laughing. So, what am I vaping on? Well, I'm on my billet box tonight, and I've just done a review for this. That's the Mission Bridge. Nice. Why isn't that focusing? Come on. It's focusing. It's fine. Yeah. The Mission Bridge. I'm enjoying that bridge. It's nice. Um, it genuine product, um, but it's yeah, it's really nice. Enjoying it. What have I got in here? I've got the black currant raspberry and lime. It's nice juice, that one. Mm. So that's in there. Uh, that's the little pack that it comes in. It's all actually it's from my review. You can see I've, <laughs> I haven't even packed it away properly, but never mind. Um, I've been sent this tank. I've been trying it. It's called the Coiland. It's it looks mouth, interesting. Mouth that the lung is. tank. It looks. Looks very, very similar to Ambition Mods. It's got a little bit of a heavily sort of influence, influence doesn't it? Though, yeah, yeah. And it's even the packaging looked really similar. And so much so, I actually even asked Ambition if this is a, an offshoot of their company, which they said, no, it's not. But it vapes quite well. Yeah, there's quite a, quite a few similarities between that. And there's something else it reminds me of as well. It's sort of like a mishmash, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I don't think I'll be stocking it. It doesn't vape that well. It's not different enough to be to warrant stocking, in my opinion. So, it's <laughs> put it this way. If you come across it and you fancy it, it's, it's okay. It vapes quite well, but it's nothing to... to right get, home about. No, nothing to get excited about, I wouldn't say. Uh, what else am I on? I'm just going to save the best till last, I think, or what I perceive as the best. Uh, Precisio, where's the box for this? That go. is a classy looking bit of kit, though. To be fair. This really, really impressed with this. This vapes really nicely. Um, so, so much so, I wish I'd have 
jumped on these, I think, when they became available. But you're going to stock them anyway, or I think I probably will. And <clears throat> excuse me, there's already I've been talking to them, getting on really well with them actually. The guys there, and there's a, a version 1.5 coming out. So I'm, maybe I'll keep me powder dry for that, and yeah, maybe stock a few of these. I don't know. That vapes very well indeed. Oh, I've got that on. That's on the Atto. A little, uh, like a moss. little mod. But the top, yeah. a little button. Like a lot of them are doing. I quite like that. I think I might have to get one of those because it's got a classy, it's got a high end look for it without the price tag, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, they are. Same as the Purity Plus, isn't it? It's got a high end look without yeah. the price tag, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So I don't have it all mouth to lung. <laughs> Louds, bro. <laughs> Woo, what's this everyone you can probably read it there you go <laughs> the dang uh, I did mention this uh, before Christmas that I was going to gonna be get, trying one of these well I'm actually stocking them as well I really like it it's a dual coil you're not the only one that can fog the place out James clouds <laughs> bro <isn't> it <laughs> You haven't got cell rides on it. But Clouds, it, fam. It's, it's a very smooth vape indeed. It, I, it's just really well made. Where's the yeah. box for that? Is that a double wanger, wanger or a single wanger? Double, yeah. Double wanger. The dang. So, yeah, I like that. It's very well made. Not the cheapest, to be fair. I think it's about 50 quid, um, but it, they are good. They are good. Now, everybody, I'm going to have to go back on chat and see what I've missed out on. I say everybody. A lot of people were suggesting that I try the tripod. And I bought the, a copy, a clone, and didn't like it. Threw it in the bin. Couldn't get it to vape without burning plastic. So I bought the genuine one. Um, it's just curiosity got to me. And I thought, I've got to try it. Night and day. It, it's very, very good indeed. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm trying to remember now who pestered me. It might have been Matt Benson, but I've also been speaking to Keith about this, as I mentioned earlier, who's in chat. And the last, the lucky last. I really like this thing. This, this is just, this is me. <laughs> Anyone know what it is? Anyone you did tell me it's completely forgot, but it looks really nice. <laughs> inside, it takes all the billet box bridges. <clears throat> so inside, I've got the crossbow. And you you can put any bridge you like in it. It's the Swiss Vape Technologies. Um, there you go. SVT. <coughs> it's called, called the Tell Tank. And the airflow is around... In this little black Delrin, I don't know if I can show it. Let's see if I can show. It's it. almost like an O-ring, doesn't it? It does. See if I can show a little slit. I've got to get in really close for that. I can see. It. I can just make it out. Uh, can you see yeah. the little. I've got the light shining right on it. Look. So there. It's just three of those little holes, and you've got a choice of one of three spaces. Bakes really well. It does look nice on that as well, mm. doesn't it? It's very matchy matchy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's on my woodpecker mech mod, but loving that. So, there, that's a few new things today, wasn't it? New shinies. <laughs> yeah, all new Christmas goodies that I thought, I want to try some some different things. Yeah, why not? So, what have I missed? What in chat? Much? Um, going back. Keep having to remember to do the old Genesis lean with this. <laughs> <laughs> the Genesis yeah, to stop them. Just give it a quick turn yeah. like that. Yeah, Sudden is. pinky like a cup of tea. <laughs> uh, Kieran saying about how much it hurts. I am sympathetic, Kieran. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not being rude. <laughs> um, uh, Kieran says loving my mark. I don't know which he would mean. Um, which of yes, what I've just Tell. Oh, yes, has he got? Tell. I think. You've got the tell tank. Have you Who was that, Keith? No, that's Kieran. Um, 
Keith's saying Precision uh, is very good, uh, well made. Yeah, it is. It is well made. I was speaking to them. They, their sort of ethos, if you like, is to make high end stuff at an affordable price, and I actually yeah. think they've achieved that with the Precision. Mm. Looks nice. Nice, nice little setup. Uh, Laurie, or <laughs> Laurie and Kieran had a separate chat about ice packs and <laughs> things of that sort. Gel packs. Um, Michael. Mark, are you going to be getting the Canthal 24 gauge and 30 Clapton wire back in? If so, when? Yeah, I have just had a lot more. A lot of my coils were out of stock, and I've just had a, you know, a, there's a lot all back in stock now. I don't think the wire is. I must look into that. TVP. Gay boys. That's a nice greeting, isn't it? <laughs> Happy New Year to you, Mark. I was going to bring a book up of everyone that Mark was falling out with, but I was struggling. I couldn't lift it up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> I was, in a comedy way, I was looking forward to his best of 2019, but it's a shame he didn't do it, because I, I just think, you know, you take it for what it is. It's a bit of comedy, isn't it? And I was quite looking forward to that, but it didn't happen. Um, yeah, t thank you, Rob. Yeah, TV, this is a respectable chat, mate. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, he's always welcome. He does get around, as he's just said. Um, my phone was just ringing, but whoever that is, we'll wait. Ah, oh, Manic, late on parade. Good evening. <laughs> Good year to you. Uh, I think the rest is just saying hellos to each other. Iggy, good evening. Happy New Year to you too. Iggy Mitchell. <laughs> TVP Parker's had more comebacks than Elvis. Now, you were talking about this. Martin Parker's making a comeback, is he? Yeah, it looks that way. I, this is what we were talking about before the show started and why I was a few seconds late coming on. Because I hadn't heard. So tell us, James, what you know. All I know is he put up um, a video, a teaser video the other day, sort of like rape reviews, e-liquid reviews, hardware reviews, and then just put in big capital letters, it's not over. And that was it. And then he's been putting stuff on social media as well, on on and on YouTube and that, just putting little clips of, say, I'm coming back sort of thing. Like. I wonder if I haven't got him then as a... A channel I follow. I must, I must do that. I, I know I follow him on Twitter, and it's normally a comment about baseball or something. But uh, mm -hmm. putting me on there, uh, Garrett. Good evening. Happy New Year to you. And yeah, good news. Martin Parker returns. He could sell sons to the Arabs. He could. <laughs> that man, can he? He's got one of them voices, hasn't he? The amount of times that Martin Parker reviewed an e-liquid and he. He, he was just, oh, just buy it, just get it, said, just buy it. It's oh, nom, 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 and all the rest of it. Yeah, uh, nom, nom, nom. I bought it, and I thought, ah, oh, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah. well, that's it. He, he likes the weird and wonderful shit, though, doesn't he? Things like, um, oh, who were they called? What were they called? What's that one down in, is it Derbyshire somewhere? Digby's. With all the weird and wonderful ones, like um, Jackal. Yeah, Digby's. Digby's, yeah, Digby's. Yeah. He loves yeah. his Digby's. He loves his Digby's. Yeah, I like Digby's too. It's good stuff. Um, Dark Side, how do you feel about the Tell Tank? You do, well, I think I've just gushed all over that. Um, <laughs> I think I think you know how I feel. I think I think we think he likes it. <laughs> it hasn't come out of my hand, and you can't say I'm promoting my stuff because I don't sell it. Um, but it is very, very good indeed. I love it. Um, maybe Are you stuck in there? I probably would if I could, to be honest. So I might get in touch with them and see if I can. But uh, at the minute, no. No, and it's I had to get mine from there, which is Switzerland. But, yeah, it's it's just great. If you love your billet box and your, um, you know, and your, your rebuildables. For it's nice to have something you can put your bridges in that you've already got. It really is, and the airflow on this, I think it controls the airflow better than the billet box does, which yeah. is what I really like about it. Yeah, you have to buy things for billet boxes, don't you, to like restrict it and stuff like that. Oh, lorry, lorry, what she's put... Oh, I need to ask, Mark, I got those newer coils from you, and they're very soft, they bend a lot. 
Um, I Must think... be mouth to lung ones. They, yeah, they are. I think Laurie is probably talking about the ultra fine one point three four. The three core. Yeah. I think that's what you're talking about, Laurie. If it is, then you're quite right. They do. They are delicate. You know, you do. Have, they are perhaps harder to fit or install than than others. So I'll take that one on the chin, but they're very good coils. So yeah. well, of course, some wires are a lot. Some wires are a lot more pliable than others as well, aren't they? You know. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Stainless steel is a lot more f more forgiving than canthal is. <laughs> canthal is quite hard, whereas stainless is a little bit softer, isn't it? And the yeah. NI is very flexible. See, Martin's got a lot of keen followers here, isn't he? Um, uh, TVP, look, big big Marty fan. He fallen right. out with. Uh, with him in the past, Mark, or or is he one of the few? Like I haven't fallen out of TV, so I'm on that elite list. <laughs> it's nice to pick on him though when he can't answer back in it, really. When he's in the chat. <laughs> I've always been a Marty Parker fan. He's just got one of those. I always enjoyed his reviews. And Iggy says that literally saved my life. Love that man, uh, Daniel. Evening, Daniel. Happy New Year. Evening, bud. Happy New Year, man. Yeah, Martin was a. Um, I don't, is he or was he a presenter on the shopping channel? I don't know. I, I don't watch shopping channels because they bore me to tears. He obviously but... was, but I don't know if he's still doing it or not. I'm not sure. But yeah, Martin was a super guy. He, you know, he he was very keen on the the photo pro calls in the early days. Ian Morgan never heard of him. <coughs> <laughs> Wob, UK votes to know. How do you feel about sending me a dang RDA to play with? Um, I don't really, Rob. <laughs> you can order one. I'll do you a good discount on one. But, you know, why would I send you one? No, it's, I think you'd like that, Rob, to be fair. Um, Laurie, and the NI80 calls are harder for me to work with. Is it just me? No, they are... Um, that particular one, if it was that coil lorry, they are they are a bit more they're not as sort of firm if you like, as say a candle coil When you're pulsing them, just pulse them a lot lower wattage than you would normally as well because mm. they, they can jump and stuff a lot with the, with the more tech, the more twitchy coils like. Oh, she's just said yes it was those coils why are they better? They're, they're a three coil they're just harder to make um, yeah. so you've basically got what's the measurements on this? Where are they? <clears throat> yeah, it's 34 gauge. So it's four wires in total. There's three 34 gauge wires and then a, uh, what was it, a 42? Wrapped around the outside. Yeah, it's ultra fine, isn't it? That? <clears throat> but yeah, they're really, really thin wires. To get. That's why they're so flexible and a bit of a git. And Graham, I'm going to put your comment up because you're a, you're a masterful man and obviously a man of intelligence. All I use is your coils, Mark. <laughs> you can see about a break for a couple of weeks, can't you? Full of cheek. Come back full of cheek. Just start off around 10 watts, Laurie, and just work your way through it until you get them to pulse nice. And then just depends depends on the on the ohms, obviously, and what you're putting them in, whether you're jeweling them and that. Just go steady with them. I'll just give him a little pulse and then wrap a little 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 strum. Uh, Garrett says, thanks to Martin Parker. And you, Mark, I quit smoking six years ago. And, yeah, I remember, Garrett, I remember you doing it. Um, that was in the early days with our pro coils. Uh, best fix. Oh, I don't know. UK Rob is talking to Iggy, I think. I don't know, Iggy. Yeah. I think so. I've never seen you. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. I don't know. I we'll missed that one. Missed that one. Missed the thread on that one. <laughs> uh, Dion78 says, so spent too much money on Vape Euro. Of course, so did I. Tripod. <laughs> and I blame Keith Parker because he made me do it. <laughs> um, Iggy says, uh, yeah, use, uh, always use stainless steel. Stainless steel is an option. They are easier to install, but you'll find the ohms with stainless steel jumps about a bit. You know, you'll think, yeah, 
this is this should be a 0.98 ohm coil and it'll it will jump to a 1.13 when it's warm yeah uh, Laurie says, thanks, Jay. How much do I watch to pulse? Something like yeah, 7 watts. I've applied to that one. <laughs> oh, have you? Start off around 10 watts and work your way up until you get a nice slow pulse on the go. Job done. And I got to the end. I caught up. Yeah, caught up. Well done, mate. Oh, nearly. Thank you, Shane. <laughs> hey, Shane. How you doing, man? Um, yeah, Martin Parkley still has almost 9,000 followers. Wow, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, so you don't lose them, do you? If you stop doing... YouTube, you know, they don't fall away that quick. No. Let's see what Shane put here, see if we can help Shane. I'm looking for a decent mouth to lung mech for the MD. MD? What's the MD mouth? You did the MD, I can't remember. You're good at looking things up really quick, James. MD. What's the MD mouth to lung tank? <clears throat> I'll come back to that. Hell vape, 24 mil. Right. It's got a nice protruding pin on it, because that's the important bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, safe. Yeah, it's got a protruding pin by looks of it. So, right. to be honest, you could use uh, what's that one like the Tacket Mini or something like that would be a good one, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's. He was asking about mech. Um... Well, it is kind of a mech. It's an unregulated, isn't it? It's got a few safety features in it. This one's 24 mil. Yeah, that look that that work well. Yeah, uh, stop that shining. That's I think we've still got a few of these left. It's the that's the H twenty four, isn't it? H twenty four, yeah, by Futoon. Yeah, and you can have the I've got the black insert on mine. Threading on this is amazing, really good. But you can have glass in there as well, so you can actually see your mech button which is down the bottom here moving of course a short throw on that one isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, this one of this is only a 22 um and they're quite expensive that's a woodpecker um yeah. mech mod and i think i don't think there's anything else that i could say i mean there, there are if you want the chip in it there's things like the the stratum yeah, Stratum, uh, you, know, you can fit a 24 on that, can't you? Yeah, you can fit a 24 on a Stratum. Uh, that would work well, but again, that's got a, like a MOSFET in the top. Stratum, the Atto? 22 mil, the Atto. Oh, yeah, it's 22, yeah. Yeah, yeah. United 3 nil down, it's only half time, half term. Half term? Half term. We'll still back to school, half time. <laughs> Yeah, hell vape. Everyone else knows that. Hell vape, hell vape, hell vape. <clears throat> What's the um, the armor's twenty four in it? The which? The armor prime mod. The armor. Yes, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. I think it was. But again, that had a chip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's just a fat, isn't it? It's not actually doing any voltage regulation, is it? It's just right. racking the power out on it. Yeah. Hey, up MF. Daniel, I'm going to put your comment on the screen So I've watched very quick highlights of the cricket, of the YouTube ones earlier. Unbelievable. Well done, England. Yep. I'm they, central there, guys. Yeah, they, they won the cricket. Well done, them. Quite an achievement over there. Um, Dion orders some Turkish tobacco from Yalik, which I'm waiting on. Oh, it's a classic, that is. Like yeah. a bit Yalik. I've lost my bottle. I've got a 100ml bottle somewhere that was like two and a half years steeped. It's black as the ace of spades, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> Curly Chew, Happy New Year. Good evening to you. Happy New Year, mate. Is that a recommendation he's just put on there? The Kazoku... Kazoku? Kazoku? I've heard of it. <laughs> Kieran half term son off the money just gone back to school. <laughs> yeah. Mike MF, hello, good evening, happy new year uh, to you and your significant other. <laughs> I haven't sent you coils yet, Mike. Mike wants me to send him some coils, which I'm happy to do. Uh, I will do it. I haven't forgotten. Uh, call with meltdown, Mike. Right, well, I, th I thought we'd have a little. I've got a, 
a little co not a competition, just a bit of fun. And what I've done is I've taken a screenshot of a YouTube reviewer, just a little one of his eyes, and I want anyone in chat. How long should we give him? A couple of minutes to, yeah. to tell me who it is. Everyone, just have a go, keep guessing, and I'll let you know who it is. Now all I've got to do is find it without <laughs> giving away. There we go. There's, there's the face. Anyone tell me who that is? I've got to wait for it to come up my end. Yeah. <laughs> do we know? He looks he looks petrified. It's, it's going to be he with a face like that, isn't it? It hasn't come up yet my end. I've got to wait for it to come up because I'm 30 seconds behind. Anyone in chat know who that is? <laughs> Laurie, I'll help you with the coils. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make it hard enough, did I? <laughs> no. Oh, yep, the bishop. <laughs> I didn't make it hard enough. Let's get him on there. Let's get the other picture of him. Oh, I, I thought they won't get that. There he is. There's a, there's a, you'll, they'll come to you in a minute. James. I've got to wait 30 seconds now for the next one. Looks like Jay, looks like Jay. Well, everyone's better than me because I, I don't think I'd have got that. I thought I picked a picture of your eyes wide. Well, stay in my fucking wrinkles on my forehead. <laughs> I haven't got them anymore. <laughs> it's Jay, it's Jay. Everyone <laughs> got it. Oh, Iggy, Groom Green, thank you. <laughs> Someone's put eyebrows here, yeah, the picture of eyebrows. Right, okay. Well, that's. <laughs> That's funny. So what we'll do is that I'll do the same thing again perhaps next week and I'm going to make it harder because you lot are all far too clever. <laughs> Shane, you said Salford. Looking at that, I would have said Salford as well. That would have been my guess, honestly. So you're the same as me. No, no <laughs> mistaking them gorgeous eyes though, is Bill it? Mitchell. I thought that it would be really funny, especially if you didn't, because I didn't tell James. And I thought it would be really funny if James didn't know who it was either. So, uh, <laughs> a lot of people are like, I'm going to have a drink on that one. So, yeah, if you want me to do that again next week, uh, I'll do another one and I'll make it harder because you lot are too good. <laughs> everyone fucking got that straight off, didn't they? <laughs> Absolutely, everyone. Everyone got it straight away. Yeah. Unbelievable. Just got all oh, green, green, green was another suggestion but yeah it's just j j j j j and did you get it as well straight away did you see it was you yeah as soon as it came out it was half me i saw you i saw you grinning i thought ah, oh, you got it i just thought it'd be really funny <laughs> if uh if you didn't spot it if you didn't spot yourself <laughs> laurie yes those gorgeous eyes <laughs> i'll put one of me on they'll be shut then my eyes are always nearly shut but Right, so has anyone else got any, any questions they want to ask? I thought that one would, would keep us going for a little while. I really did. <laughs> it was too easy, that one, wasn't it? I think, was it? I didn't think it was that easy. But obviously... Well, you should have zoomed in a little bit more and then turned it upside down because it's harder to recognise someone's face when it's upside down. I didn't think I had to. I wouldn't have got that, honestly. <laughs> I'm terrible at things like that, but I'll have to, I'll have to make a note of that. <laughs> Laurie, I will help you with the coils. Which ones were they? Someone asked her. I'll find out, Laurie. I'll go through chat later on and uh, I'll see the, the answer and I'll, I'll let you know. I'll send you a link. Which coils? I'm lost. Somewhat. I think it might have been Iggy suggested uh, some coils to Laurie. She's asking which ones they were. I think they were the, were the stainless steel ones. Two called parallel. Oh, yeah, I'll find them. <clears throat> Those are the long ones? No. Yeah. No, two core parallel for 0.38. They're the ones I've got. Are they? Yeah. But um, Laurie is mouth to lung, so... Oh, she mouth to lung in? Yeah. yeah, yeah she'll but... be on the two core mouth to lungs then, won't she? you got those little time ones, haven't you? There are so many on there now. So many on there to choose from. I'll find them now. But... 
stainless steel, you might well like lorry, but as I say, the ohms do just jump around a little. Um, Spectre from the US, good evening. Um, Happy New Year to you. What's he put? Do you have any tips for storing e liquid? Um, yeah, basically, just keep it out of the heat and the sun, really. Um, that's the main thing. You don't really have to, depends how long for. But e liquid will keep for yeah. a year, I, I would have thought, easily, probably two. Um, just out, like I say, out of the sun and out of extreme heat or cool, I would have said. Uh, Laurie says, yes, it was, Iggy. Um, Only mouth to lung coils, yeah. See, I use the single core stainless steels, the 2.5 ones that have come out of 1.34. They're the ones I use. And the 0.68 ones, is it? <clears throat> Which ones have we got here? Which ones have we got here? NI80, NI80. I've usually got... Depends how high you want to go. The point point six eight or the. You want them? I'll give her a link now. Any of those, Laurie? I'll just put the uh, thing. There you go. There you go. Any of them ones? They're good then. If you want mouth to lung. Curly they're the ones I use. Thanks, James. Thanks for doing that. Best RBA for a pod kit. Uh, I like the look of the Aegis Boost, but I seem to be drawn to the Nugget. Nugget's very good. I think the Nugget is superb. That I've done the review on the Nugget uh, with the rebuildable coil. Um, I think you've probably already seen that, Curly Chew, but have a look if not. But I, I do think as for a, for your own little rebuildable head in an all-in-one, it takes some beating. <clears throat> Matt Benson here. He said, Was it you, Matt, who told me to buy the tripod? I think it might have been. <laughs> Ever, he's trying to get me to spend more money. Look, ever tried the Starbuck chip? Russian high end, like the Union Two from Vapor Line. Are they worth it? I've, I've never, never tried. Oh, the Starbuck chip? No, I've never, I've never tried them. A few people like them, but um, I don't know. I have to look into that. I haven't, I haven't tried. Uh, Eddie at Darwin Mods used hey, a couple Lord. of Starbuck chips. It's much like the old Yeehe chip, but a lot smaller. Cause it's all done on one. It's all done on one button. <coughs> they got one that the button actually turns as well, so you can turn the power up and down to get in the menu as well. It's like a three-way button. <coughs> Laurie, does it really not matter if the juice gets really dark? No, it doesn't, Laurie. In no. Fact, in fact, some juice I've had juice before, especially tobaccos and things of that sort, uh, that they get. Almost black, <laughs> blacker than that. <laughs> yeah, but they get yeah. almost black, and I, I've vaped them, and they actually almost taste better for it. You know, if it smells okay, tastes okay, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they keep for quite a while. Tobaccos and custards and desserts are usually the ones that you really go dark. They are. Yeah. It's just uh, what's the word for it? Oh, there's a word for it, isn't there? Oxidization, isn't it? Hmm. Graham Mabley, I've set up my Merlin Mini in mouth-to-lung mode, looking for a better mouth-to-lung. Got the variable voltage Mini Berserker coming. Looking for a 23mm mouth-to-lung. Any suggestions? Budget around £50. 23mm? 23mm. A lot of 22 to be fair. Yeah. Um. 23mm. How much... What's this... Um. This is actually a clone here. Um, the Tafun. Oh, the Tafun, yeah. What size is that? Let's have a look. It's 23 and a half, is it? Something like something daft like that. Is it? I think so. Good good tank, though. Presumably 23 mil, he wants it for... That new mod that he's on about. Yeah. It is 23 mil. Um, the... Little rim on the airflow is going to make that slightly more. Probably uh, twenty three point two or something, is it? God, you, I mean, everyone's cleverer than me today. Twenty three point five. So, yeah, another half a mil with that rim. 
other than that i i would also say though graham to be honest with you that rather than and i ain't going to get that tank on there so i'm going to leave it rather than i know you want to try and perhaps do your matchy matchy but find the the tank you like first the rto you like first and you know because i'm look how many i've got around me i'm really fussy and but then again i've got a 22 mil on 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 that that takes a 24 it doesn't bother me yeah yeah yeah, they do. Yeah, they they'll take the twenty, but they look all right with the twenty. Yeah. Hmm. But you'll have far bigger choice in twenty two mil. Um, that Precisio is very good. Uh, the reload is good. How wide is that? The reload. That's top air airflow. Let me measure that one. Yeah, the reload is, is about 22 and a half. Just over the 22. Uh, let's measure the top. Yeah, about 22 and a half. Yeah. But, I mean, you aren't really going to notice. That's the reload there, in case you don't know which one it is. That's the reload mouth to lung. It, it really, for me, would be more a case of find a mouth to lung tank that you really love and Put it, put it on, you know, for the mod. I'm guessing you've probably bought a mod that's 23 mil and you want to really make it flush and look lovely. I understand that. But for me, it's the, it's the vape quality you get that would take the preference. I'd rather have a 22 mil RTA with something that vapes really well than I would have a <laughs> look that half a mil wider on each side. Wouldn't you, James? Yeah. I really would. Tri Tripod's 22, isn't it? Yeah. Is that 22? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully I've helped. Probably not what the answer you wanted to hear, but... Um, Laurie, Mark, you recommended the NI-80, but I was okay with the previous ones. I think, Laurie, you had Canthal. Did you have Canthal at the start? I can't remember. Um, but... Either really, Canthal, I like Canthal, but you will find Canthal in the mouth to lung is a little harsher. Do you find it harsher on, on your throat? You'll yeah, I find stainless steel's best for mouth to lung coils. Yeah, so, but stainless steel, give them, give them a go if you like, Laura. That's, that's, my you. Personal, that's my personal thing, anyway. And Laurie again, does anyone know the status of the USA shutting down juice flavours? There's been some news of that again recently isn't it it's juice flavors yeah. put that on the front there juice flavors on enclosed systems i think like pods and from what i know i think now you're just tobacco and menthol isn't it i think everything else is a no-no yeah which is going to crucify some companies it really is absolutely crucifying but I think Jewel have done that for a little while and you know they I think they knew something that other people didn't know. There's you yeah. never know what's going on behind the scenes, do you? Yeah, from underhand. Especially with Jewel, because they're backhanded stabbing gits. Don't sit on the fence, James. Just say what you think. People appreciate your real opinion. <laughs> the thing is though, they got like fifth was it thirty eight milligram or something, fifty milligram pods over there. It's stupid. That's, Who needs that much nicotine? That's what I don't understand. You know, I've tried, I've spoken about this before, I tried a, a salt um, at 45 milligram strength, and I, you know, for me, completely buzzed me out, made me feel awful. One so, pull, you don't need to pull for the rest of the day, and you feel sick, don't you? You do feel sick. So, really, that's the root of the problem, not what flavour has got in there, to my mind, and I, I think it's irresponsible making salts of that strength. Great. Talking about that, how about the UK, eh, in the 20th of May? Well, you were telling me about this, weren't you? Yep. The stage is yours, James. Off you go. I'm going to have a drink. Basically, it's probably crap because it's in the mirror, but at least it is not like Lad Bible, <laughs> which had never got it. But there was a, a post put up the other day, well, probably last week, in the Daily Mirror <clears> that <throat> May, May time, um, 
hand rolling tobacco, menthol fags, Rizzlers, and filters will be illegal. If that is the case, if that is the case, that absolutely makes me so angry and mad with this country and the laws. Because I'm not a smoker anymore, but what right have we got to take the old boys' roll-ups away? Do you know exactly, what I mean? yeah. I, I think that is just utter... Well, it's disgusting. It's awful. It's just, you know, what are we? And You know, are we... Yeah, because you've we... got the old boys, haven't you? The old farmers and yeah. that in, the, in the thills, isn't it? Are you free in life to do what you want within reason, or or are we all going to be ruled with this yeah. rod of steel and told what we have to do? Yeah, there you go. Have a little read. I'll put it. I'll put the link in chat. People can go and have a look. Really, I don't want to give them any sort of like leeway on the on the views, but it's the only way people are going to find it in it without putting a, like a screenshot up of it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um. Andy Harris, yeah. Nugget is good. Pardon me. <laughs> but don't use it while cutting the grass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was Tina. For anyone who doesn't know, Tina had a... That was the... Um, not the Nugget all in one. It was it was this one, this little Nugget. Oh, the old Nugget, the artery Nugget. Yeah. Nugget X, yeah. And she had it in a pocket. It fell out of her pocket while she was cutting the grass. And on the next row up, on doing her stripe, she clonk and just completely demolished it does it still work or is it completely gone? oh no no i had pictures of it it was absolutely annihilated the, the battery and chip were like flown over the lawn one the <laughs> casing was mangled everything was broken to hell but yeah <laughs> well, i did put a picture of it to, a, to embarrass her one night <laughs> um murray robertson how you find the tripod i like the tripod Murray, um, where is it? Here. For me, I do like it. Don't get me wrong. I think it's very, very good. For me, though, the airflow, I just find it a bit... I don't know. There's something not quite that suits me. And I'm being picky because, in general, you can't make it leak. You can't make it falter in any way. And the machine's brilliant, everything else. I used it for two or three days, thoroughly enjoyed it. But the, the airflow, I just want, I like a really tight mouth to lung, and this doesn't give it to me. It's almost like this non resistant um, air pressure that I, I prefer. You know, I think it would suit someone who likes a more open mouth to lung than that. But it is good, don't get me wrong, it is very good. Uh, Curly Chew got the fetch with the RPM RBA coil. Um, yeah, the the fetch was nice, wasn't it? I've got one down here still that I haven't even opened yet. There it is, still in its cellophane. The fetch. I like the fetch. You got them in your shop? Yeah, we sell loads of those. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Basically an RPM in a nicer box. Unicron, yeah, he's... Um, put on there usa is pre-filled pod flavor band so far and that's as i understood it it's the yeah. ones the pods that are pre-filled yeah so it doesn't affect anyone's rebuildables or anything like that um note to oh right iggy let's put that one up there note to all avoid the smock trinity alpha it's awful leaky right i haven't tried that one i haven't tried that one either yeah and Iggy uh, been vaping a long time, so you know respect that opinion. Yeah, he knows the score. Nugget RBA dead easy to work with. Yeah, it is Shane. Um, it's it's very simple, and you know the the vape quality is nice as well. And Corgeth as well as saying that it's only the pre-filled pods that are like, talking about at the moment. Who knows what's coming? But pre-filled pods, it's what's on the agenda now. Start of a slippery slope, though, really, isn't it? Don't you think? Pretty much. I think so. Who knows what's in store for for this industry, for this country, in the in the coming months? You know, we don't know. No. Um, one one thing I will say, I mean, you, I hate being dictated to. I really do. Um, and if you're cigarette thing or your rolling tobacco rizzler papers thing is true 
you know, much as I like to encourage people to vape, I wouldn't take people's roll ups away from them. Yeah. You know, it's freedom of choice. That's the thing, like. I don't. Thing is, though, it must mean hand, all hand rolling tobacco because I don't believe you can buy menthol rolling tobacco. No, I've never seen it. I've, I've never seen, seen it. Either. I've seen like cherry tobaccos and that for years, <clears throat> but not not in rolling tobacco. Good point, grumpy old vapor. Expromiser V4 is twenty three mil. Yes, you're quite yeah. right. A lot of people like that tank. I don't. Um, Horses for courses. We can't all like yep. everything. Um, never worked for me. I didn't find it. They're, they're a bit overcomplicated, I find, the X, X Romerizer and stuff from Steam Crave. But that's easy for you to say, James. Say that again. The what? <laughs> a bit overcomplicated, the X Romerizers and all that. <laughs> it's me who's on the beer, not you. <laughs> well, why do they give them such stupid names? <laughs> oh, dear. Justin, you can. Overcook your e-liquid in a tank and make it dark. Done it. Yeah, I mean, you, especially if, if you've been using a tank and then you think, oh, I'll leave that one for now. And you leave it for a couple of weeks, it does seem to darken up very quickly after it's had heat through it. Well, you do what I think, do and forget about, about a bit of months and you look up on the shelf and it looks like treacle. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the old Canadian syrup. <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, ground for my MYM Vapes Mech. Oh, this was the 23 mil, I guess, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm there. Caught up with the program. You can see why people... I'm really enjoying that mesh on that <laughs> that Genesis. You have to go hunting for old school Genesis eyes now. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Benson might be worth having a look at the vapor line pipes on Ross Mods. Can't I think you like it? Well, I think I'm going to have to. You've mentioned that word pipe now, haven't you, Matt? So I'm oh. happy. Um, maybe some good news on that, but not for this week. Um, that's something that will come in the future. But over Christmas, I have been working harder than perhaps I've let on, and there is news coming of one or two different things actually. But we'll get to as as and when. But things are going to happen, folks, so keep tuning in. You'll find out as I, as I know more, you will know more. But that's all I'll say today. <laughs> well, of course, we've got um, Vaping with Vix Kelpie as well, haven't we? The yeah, RDA that, coming The RDA. Up. I'm actually looking forward to that because it's actually a really nice dripper. Yeah. I've I've got the, They sent the sample to me today. Um but I've also put an order in as well, so they will be on the site. For everyone. That's good, because I'll be having one of those in stainless. <laughs> anyone looking to get one, I will be having I, one. I tried it at Expo in October, because he had it with him. Oh, did you? Right, okay. Yeah, so this hasn't, with the Kelpie, that seemed to get a lot of hype and a lot of interest, and everyone knew about it. And this, I, I mean, I watch Vaping with Vicks, Sunday videos and things, and very often, not all every week, but very often I do, um, and and a lot of his review videos as well. But this doesn't seem to have been quite in the public eye that the Kelpie RTA was. No, that... it, it it was it it was to a certain degree because he was putting pictures up. He was putting like um, yeah, okay. I've, I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen them. I think probably the UK Vapor Show was was a big player as well in the past. yeah the RTA that people got to know about it more. But yeah, looking forward to it as well. It should be good. Very nice very nice deck on it. And the airflow was very nice. I was quite I was quite impressed with it. Flavour was pretty good too. Right. It's when I saw him use it it sounded quite smooth. Um didn't seem a lot of whistling or turbulence or anything there. No, it doesn't it, it didn't seem like that when I had a go on it it seems quite smooth like you say. Only three colours, I think, to start with. Black, stainless steel and blue. Yeah. Hmm. Iggy, anyone tried the Freemax Gym disposable tanks kit? I haven't, Iggy, I'm afraid. I can't help you with that. Right, what's Spectre on about here? Let's have a look. Let's put him on the screen. Regarding my previous question, I've heard some suggest refrigeration of e-liquid. On the other hand, I've heard some advice against it. I keep mine in a dark closet. Should that be sufficient? Thank you. 
I think so. Just a, a yeah, dark closet dark. or a drawer. The uh, yeah. keep it in your top top drawer or something that anywhere that isn't exposed to a lot of sunlight and you know intense light really, uh, and it should keep for ages and ages, and not too hot. You know, so as long as your your closet is, you know, normal normal temperature, reasonably exactly. cool, which no reason why it shouldn't be. Um, then yeah, I would say it should be fine. And Keith says he keeps his in a container in a dark cupboard. Perfect. Yeah, ideal. Let's keep it. Um, Esfidel, he's replied to Iggy, but it's important, so we'll put it on there. Uh, Iggy, I love the gem mod. Uh, been, for being so simple and can power anything sensible, I throw at it. But in my opinion, the disposable tanks are only to be set in the glove box just in case. Yeah, I've, I've got my own opinions of disposable tanks. I just think it's more plastic, isn't it? And yeah. That's part of the appeal for me with RTAs. You, all you're putting in is, is wire and cotton, and you know, and you're all good. That's it, yeah. Uh, Laurie, less than 21 to go. I assumed a fridge was a bad idea for juice. A lot of people keep their nicotine in in the fridge. A lot of people do, um, and VG and PG come to that. But and, and fridges are something else as well. How cold is your fridge? Some fridges are set almost like freezers, aren't they? Uh, and others are, are probably not set as low as they should be. You have got an adjuster, yeah. so you know that could play come into play as well. Old E Leaf Limo is 23. Yeah, that's old though, Asphodel. It's very old now. Good old Limo. Um, yeah, Iggy, yes, we've brought this point up before. Laurie, uh, I would avoid NI80 uh, as it can affect your skin. Yeah. I think it, it did. I went off NI80 for a little while because I was getting. It's like, got a bit of a funky taste, I thought. On my, a lot on my forearm. Uh, and on top of my leg, I was getting like this, like strawberry patches, almost like, what do they call them, hives? Yeah. <clears throat> so, and I didn't know if it was the NI80 doing that to me, but, and I'm still not sure, to be honest. Um, what's in here? I don't even know. I think this might be cancelled in this one. What you can do is clean, clean bit of skin down on the back of your wrist and just rub a bit of the wire on there. Yeah. Yeah get a little bit of damp and just like rub it on there and see because the back of the back of your wrist is you know your wrist there's sort of like the thinnest part of skin so if it's going to react it'll react there like hmm. uh, like some people can't wear cheap watches can they because the chrome on the watch it's that sort of thing yeah because it's copper yeah. it's usually people that have got copper intolerance that have that so you think the cheap ones used to get off the market from Dell boy they they'd rub off and you'd have coppery color wouldn't you chineseium Young, young Derek. Young Derek. Oh, the glass, Rasper. Yeah, the glass is that's twenty threes, right? Now the glass is very. HL, yeah. There you go. Then I will. Re you ask for a recommendation, glass. Glass Mini is a very good little mouth to lung tank. Look no further. Have a go with that one, Graham. See our chat got there in the end, and well done, Rasper. Very good. Laurie, I hate tobacco and menthol. <clears throat> a lot of people do, but when I first started vaping, I needed that throat hit like I was getting off off the roller. So, and I picked raspberry mixed with menthol. I'd like half and half. I started off with um, half and half, and as I went on, I slowly reduced the menthol because it was giving me like heartburn. Um, but then I've I've gone right away from it, and I don't have anything with menthol or cool louder in anymore. It's just, just you know, it's, it's almost like I've gone off it. Strange. I mean, there's a there's a little bit in that, but it's not strong. I don't mind a little bit of like WS, like you know, because it's not minty or anything like that. But I do find uh, menthol really, really gets on my chest. Oh, Graham's going for the V4 Rasper Grumpy V4. It is. I'm lost. That's not my recommendation, Graham. I would say the glass. <laughs> what would you say? 
I'd go with a glass. Yeah. It's it's the one that I, re- I regret not getting at Expo. Because I bought the uh, X Pro Marizer mouth to lung and DTL, and I'd, I I I should have bought the the other one. Uh, here and <coughs> just pop these high end Nick pods out. Yeah, I agree. Get rid of them. They're, they're not right in my opinion. Something dropped important. <clears throat> oh, it was my wedding ring. It's fucked off. Where's that gone? There it is. Uh, Simon got the 80 watt Rinko from McMahon. Iggy, 50 milligram Nick is specifically for the buzz. That's why kids love them. Yeah. yeah, and that that's really what, for Caused me, you, you don't vape for a buzz, I don't think. We're substituting smoking for vaping um, to stop smoking. And we don't do it for a buzz or a high, do we? I, I don't no. believe. You know, I don't think that's not what it's all about for me. Some people do, though. <clears throat> some people do. Yeah, some people do. Um one up um when he was well in oh grumpy grumpy old vapor picked picked one up recently trying i'm not sure what he picked up was he talking about the kelpie i'm not sure don't know uh yeah keith i know keith wow. let's put this on there keith loves the tripod it was keith who moaned at me and oh, moaned at me he strongly suggested to I try the, <laughs> the tripod and yeah, and he's right. He's very, very good. Very good. Uh, Kieran's put on there. Mm-hmm. May 20, all menthol cigarettes and menthol rolling tobacco will be banned from UK stores. This means menthol tips used for hand rolling are out. So is it just menthol then, Kieran? That sounds like it is. The thing is, though, it mentioned about hand rolling tobacco. Well, I've never seen menthol hand rolling back here, have you? I haven't, no, no. Rasper. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good, smoking to be eradicated by 2022. Uh, if that's the first step, then bring it on. I'm sure folk will still be able to get them if they need to, but take it out of the shops, that's what will work. I kind of see what you're saying, Rasper, but I do honestly believe, you know, what right have we got to take a man's roll-ups away? Yeah. Like that, that's what I say. And, you know, whether we think it's good or bad for us, not for us to make that decision. For that's someone. their choice, isn't it? Their choice. Iggy, if we can ignore a democratic vote to leave the EU, then the government can and will do anything. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess. And I voted, <laughs> Iggy and I voted to stay. Yeah, I mean, that, that was, well, so we're not getting into that no. old can. We're getting into that. Back in two minutes, I'm going to go and grab a drink. <laughs> James is off, he's bored. Everyone needs to. I'm just the... <laughs> <laughs> Bristol Vapor, uh, or Jewel is the problem, sorry, Keith. Jewel is, is the problem, money grabbing politicians in the USA. Yeah, I think this, I think you're very, you know, there's a lot of truth in that, Keith, I really do. The Bristol Vapor, does it still work? Does it still work? Does what still work? Bristol Vapor. Sorry, mate. I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean. Um, tripod, Rasper, the one mil insert and mouth to lung drip tip for the tripod. What drip tip? Well, that's what I've got on there, I think. Or is it? Maybe not. Maybe I'll need to look at that. The drip tip. Do they do a separate drip tip for the tripod? I've got the extended glass as well, uh, which I haven't tried yet, to be honest. <laughs> Keith Mark likes, likes his mouth to lung tight as a duck's ass, water tight. I do. I mean, this this is quite tight. It's it's a shame we haven't got a a gauge, an accurate gauge as to how tight a draw. And that you know everyone likes, and that would be a lot easier to find the tank, wouldn't it? If you knew exactly what that draw was, but there is no way of measuring it. There is no way that I know of. Oh, with mouth to lung. Yeah, 
How would and you the high end fraternity after to be the whole has to be a certain mill underneath the coil and a certain mill on the, when they like what, they class mouth to lung as one point two mil or something like that. It's got to be one two point two mil or something like that. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. That's right. <laughs> the actress said to the bishop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, put on the smallest insert. Try can be tight as hell. Well, it's on the smallest. I put the smallest in because I started off with the. Have I got this right? The next one up, and I went to the smallest and the air hole. I've got. Pretty much shut. Hopefully, you can see uh, there. Look. Yeah, it's quite small. Just near near enough shut, and I'm still getting quite a good kick off it. Like, yeah, let's try and close it right up. See, I actually think you know this is old school. This thing, and this has got. That's probably. I'd say that's probably a one and a half mil hole in it, and I find that I that's quite a loose mouth to lung. See that that's better with the airflow for me completely shut. There's still yeah. in air, and for me that's better, a lot better actually. Yeah, maybe a bit too tiny. I don't know. I'll persevere with it. I'm. I have said the tripod's very very good. Don't beat me up. <laughs> but you know, there's we all like what we like. 80 watt fetch an RPM Pro out now. As a Pro, yes, I saw there's a Pro. Um, R3 are also bringing out yet another PAL, um, and that's got a removable 18650 battery in it. That's coming out. I think the original PAL was the best one. The original PAL that took the Nautilus coils. Oh, uh, you're, talking, yes, you're talking about that one. That, that was good. Um, I've got one up here somewhere. Yeah, I've got one up here somewhere. It's up there in his box. The red one. Yeah, yeah. They did, did red and black, didn't they? Red, black and grey, wasn't it? Red, black and grey? Uh, There's they? three on the picture of the box. Hang on. Yeah, red, black and grey. Oh, I can't remember seeing a grey one. Okay. I'll beg to your knowledge. <laughs> um, Fetch are doing an 80 watt now. 80 watt. What do you want 80 watt with a mouth to lung little pod? I think they're going for the. Um, I think they're probably going to use something like a baby beast coil that's got a bit more oomph for cloudiness. Yeah. Uh, Simon Bridgewood, have you purchased many items from them reliable? That's uh, Iggy. I don't know. Uh, what, did, what did Simon say? Don't know. Don't know what that one's about. Sorry, it's between private chat between yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, the the Fetch Pro's got a, an eighteen six fifty as well. So they're all doing it, aren't they? And isn't it funny how they all hit on the same thing all all at the same time? It's because me personally, I'd rather have a removable battery. I'll be honest. I'd rather yeah, be able would, to yeah. take that battery yeah. out. Mm. Not just from a point of view, you can take a couple of spare batteries with you, so you don't never go flat. But the other side of it is, if you've got something that's a built-in battery and that's sat on your shelf, you've not used it for a month or something because yeah. you're vaping on something else, and that battery goes low, or something happens with the board, you get juice ingress into it or something like that, with it sat with its built-in tank, IO, whatever, mm. you know, you're going to have issues, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? It's one of them. So I prefer, if, if uh, rule of thumb is I try to buy stuff that's, you know, not built in, but you know, like pods and stuff. That's fair enough because you can pull the pod out, can't you? But yeah. things that are all in ones and stuff, I don't. I don't generally like built in battery, really, mm. as, as as a rule. I've got a couple of things that got built in battery. <clears> I, like, I like these. Have got a built in battery. The Dolpo embers. And they're nice little dinky thing, isn't it? I like those. The, the and the battery. You know, I've had no issues with these at all. The battery life does last. For a long while. Tell you what was a cracking mod and it didn't really take off, yeah? And when I show you, be like, oh my god. Yeah, I love this little thing. The Wismax C B sixty. Oh right, yeah, that's a nice little mod, isn't it? It's a lovely little thing. You know, I haven't used that for ages, it's still fully charged, near enough. Um but that that's that's my nice little throw you know, if I'm going away somewhere, I'll stick a Nautilus on Nautilus Mini on top of that or yeah. something like that and I'll take it away with me. Stock coil, the battery life's right. I'll get like three days battery life out of it at eight watts. Three <laughs> times. <laughs> uh, Simon's pre ordered the 18650 Smock Fetch Pro. Nice. Um, 
lorry. The UK is stamping out smoking as much as it can, and rightly so. I'm not. Rasper's mind isn't for changing, is it? Nope. <laughs> Fair enough, Rasper. You you got your opinion. You stick to it, and you know that again. That's freedom of speech, isn't it? I I respect yeah. the fact that that's how you feel, and I'm not going to try and change your your mind. It's good that different people have opinions. That's it. Yeah, it's the whole point of being freedom of speech, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, Keith, if the PMTA goes through in the US, it may. Uh, in oh in May it will all go down the path. Yeah, well we'll just have to see what does happen there, Keith. There's, I I just think it's going to be a, a bit of a turbulent year this year for for rules and regulations in general. I think we're going to see some pretty nasty stuff. That's what I think. But I've got no real foundation for that or just you know when you get a funny feeling you just feel that get that funny like yeah, punch in your stomach there's something they're, not right they're, yeah. they're gathering their troops they're putting their defense documents in place and all of a sudden we're going to get wallop that's yep. i don't know I'm, I, I hope i'm wrong i really hope i'm wrong um cal zions evening all good evening happy new year to you um MF, too tight, the x riser V4, but did give good flavour. Yeah, you see, I always, I found, what was I getting from that? I was getting, you know when you get that little gurgle come up the centre tube? Yeah. I couldn't get rid of it. That, that's, it didn't matter. Over-wicking. Uh, say again? Uh, it's over-wicking, isn't it? Well, the it juice is over-wicking. It not matter what I did with the wicket. I've still got it here somewhere. I, I ought to get it out and have another go with it, because... Uh, it could well be over wicking. I'm just pulling ju- too much juice through it, possibly. Yeah, the juice is cut. That's what I mean by over. Yeah. I don't mean you're yeah. over wicking it. I just yeah. mean it's over, over, mm. over feeding, isn't it? That's a better way. That's a better word, isn't it? It might well be that I'm, you know, was putting too much wicking or or not enough. But I, I, you know, I've been building tanks for a long time, and I don't normally get them that wrong. Do you know what I mean? No. See, Rasper, like he says, the X Marys are one of the best for 2019, and I've heard other people say that as well. So, you know, <laughs> who, am I I, it. who am I to say? <laughs> uh, night, Laurie. What's Laurie off? I have to sleep now. It's late here. Oh, Laurie, just get the bottle of booze out. Have another drink. <laughs> Take it easy, Laurie. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. Iggy's talking to Simon about someone, uh, another dealer, I think. Grumpy old vapor. Let's see what he's got to put. Kelpie RDA is not very pretty, and the one I saw posted was poorly finished. But I guess it's really down to the vape quality. I haven't physically seen one yet, Grumpy, so I'm going to reserve judgment on that. I mean, EH Pro don't normally do a bad job. No. They're finishing. Uh, the thing is, though, it might have been one of the, the pre thingy ones, the early ones that he's seen. Pre production. Good well, a bit. Pre production, yeah. I mean, pre production stuff, I think that's dangerous, don't you? That, um, yeah, I'll mention who it was. I mean, I, I've just reviewed this. The, the mission, the bridge, yeah, uh, by Karma, uh, or the Karma by Mission, and Todd did his review, but he got sent a pre-production <laughs> one with a like a silver Allen key. Yeah, he said that the Allen key wasn't like fit for purpose. The screws were, were awful, and the Allen key was soft and awful. And and I thought, well, I don't have any problems with mine? I, I looked at mine, and I've got a black Allen. Yeah. Key like a proper Allen key. So the production run is clearly different to the pre-production run, but that's now got slated almost where it shouldn't have been slated. Yeah. Or, you know, perhaps these pre-production runs should be the same as the finished article and we wouldn't yeah. have these problems. I mean, the pre-production... Oh, he's frozen. He's gone. <laughs> the pre-production in my opinion oh you froze there for a second I don't know what happened there I don't know what happened <laughs> um, 
uh, Murray, uh, are you using the Integra for most things? Yeah, the Integra is nice as well. I like the Integra. It's good. Integra, I've heard good things about yeah, that. Good, yeah. Both I have a mouth on coiling, but yeah, if I open the air and crank up to about 25, 30 watts, it's good too. Yep. I'm lost well, where you are in chat. Oh, there you go. I found you. Oh, <laughs> way back. Beyond, then, as usual. I'm oh, not that bad, am I? <laughs> the room in the in along my elec was 13 degrees centigrade right now. I guess it's cold enough. <laughs> yeah, <it's> fine. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Um, what's the best wire to make one own coil, please? Well, Shane, that's a hard one. Are you talking about just a single wire? If so, I would have said something like a 26 or 28 gauge. I would have said. Um, to make that, if you go on, was it Steam Engine? Steam Engine, yeah. That that will tell you. Um, that will tell you if you're wrapping it on a two mil rod, how many wraps to put on it, and it will tell you how many ohms you'll get, rather than you waste a load of wire. So yeah, that's a good one to look at. I should put the link in chat for you now, dude. There you go, Link Ninja on the one. Hashtag Link Ninja. Depends what wire you're using as well. You know, if you're using stainless steel, it's going to be different um, and NI80 to Canthal. Or just buy some 1.34 mouth to lung Claptons. You what, sorry? Or so just buy some of those mouth to lung Claptons, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> your site. Got, we've got all sorts here. Um, the other one? Also, do, and some people really like this one. It's. Uh, a 30 plus 38 gauge NI80, that comes out at 1.46, which would be too high for some. Quite yeah. But I've got the stainless, it's 1.38, isn't it, the stainless yeah. one? Now, what did I put that in, that coil in? Oh, I put it in, in here, uh, in my review. That went in here, and to be honest with you, I mean, what oh, have I got this going at? 12 watts? Yeah, 12 watts. Focus, focus, come on. 12 watts for the win. There you go. And that's absolutely fine. Actually, I didn't read the ohms, did I? Press the button. Yeah, 1.52 it actually came out at, because I've put another like, half, half turn on to get the wires going the same way. Should have had this made up in 3 milligram. This 6 milligrams kicking my arse. <laughs> I always have mine at 9. On a Jenny, though, you got that extra bit of kick, haven't you, on a Jenny, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Looks nice, that. Hold out for everyone again. It looks really nice. Yeah. I always wanted a Piccoloid from GP. Yeah, I did. I did as well. Piccolo and a... What was, what was the tank called? Spheroid. Spheroid, because they call it a Piccoloid as a full yeah. setup. Don't they? Yeah. I did actually get a Spheroid in the end. I got a second-hand one off someone, because uh, I couldn't find one anywhere, but yeah. it's not shall we say, a perfect example. Ah, <laughs> it was a bit, yeah. Um, Grumpy keeps his nick in the freezer and he's juicing a dedicated mini fridge. Yeah. yeah. Can't get better than that, can you? Right. Um, thinking of picking one up. That's Murray. Um, good looking RT. I think he's probably talking still about the Expromiser. Yeah, probably. Was that Murray or was that Graham? Um, Graham says, thanks, Mark. I don't know what that's for, whether it's me, Mark, or a different Mark. There's always a lot of Marks. And there I'm you lost. go, MF. I concur. Glass Mini is great. My daily vote. I, I think the Glass Mini is a fantastic little math to It's a sexy-looking tank as well, isn't it? It's quite <clears> a nice <throat> tank because some of these tanks that they bring out are hideous, aren't they, some of them? Mm. <laughs> to me, anyway. See, Paul Hinchcliffe says that he found the glass mouth along leaks from the 510 in, if not in daily use. I haven't had that at all. So that's a bit like me saying the extra riser like gurgles or whatever. <laughs> you know, other people haven't had that. So weird, isn't it? Uh, MF, the glass mini pistol all over the extra riser V4, in my opinion, unless you like a super tight draw, uh, which was... Basically, what I was, I think the Glass was one of the best mouth to lung tanks released yeah. last year. I think it was. Ah, uh, yes, Keith had this. Well done, Keith. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, 
It may be the screw, it's a double thing. I had to remove the inner, then tighten it up and put it back. It's got a double screw, so you, uh, let, let me get this right. One's a left-hand thread, I think, one's a right-hand thread. Mm -hmm. So you have to screw one screw in anti-clockwise, I think, and then put the 510 <coughs> screw in clockwise. It might well be loose. Good point, Keith. Thanks for that. And just remember, a wet O-ring doesn't seal. Oh, it sounds stupid. If you've got a wet O-ring, it won't, it won't seal. No, I guess it won't. I hadn't thought of that. It's a good point, that. So take, wash it out, take it all apart, leave it to dry and put it back together. It'll be fine. <laughs> that's, usually, that's, us, that's usually the way. Because people just want, rinse them out and then they, it stays wet. Um, but like I say, if you've got a wet O-ring, it doesn't uh, thingy like, you know. Oh, and Paul says he's tried that. It, mine spins, free spins too. Probably felt shouldn't... Fr Free spin. No, that shouldn't happen. No, that shouldn't. Happen. You probably find you've got to rip the thread out of it. <clears throat> yeah. Funny enough, I had that with the what was what was the rebuildable mouth to lung? The A res by Inikin. I had that. I had one. The Joan, I bought it and the ohm started jumping about all over the place after a week. I thought this is weird, so I undid the five ten pin that holds it all together. Yeah. And it was obviously held on by a thread, and I just finished it off by unscrewing it, and it just fell apart. <laughs> All right. Who's who, mate? That was... Um, Inakin. That was... Yeah, uh, the Aries. Uh, who, yeah, the Aries. Posado, wasn't it? Was that his? Yeah. Posado and uh, Vaping Greek, wasn't it? Yeah. It was the platform series, Rebuildable. Um, Kieran, no, Joe, the tips used for hand-rolling in certain papers are out. Um, I think that may include. Also, yeah, it's anything yeah, to do with changing the flavour, isn't it? Licorice papers as well. I mean, I, do you ever try licorice papers? I used to like them. <laughs> I used to quite like them. I used to like one of them with a menthol tip in it, licorice paper with a menthol tip. Yeah. Pav, good evening and a happy new year to you. And if you had a licorice paper with a menthol tip and you put um, cherry pipe tobacco in a rolly, it was amazing. <laughs> I remember being in Holland and all we could, it wasn't even drum that we could get, it was some other make. Oh god, that was strong. Really strong. Oh drum drum was the um stuff they used to hoover off the floor at the tobacco manufacturers, wasn't it? <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> it was like dr vaping dried pubes. Yeah. Actually, Boudian makes a good point there. Um, and good evening, happy new year, and all that. Regarding the 23mm mouth to lung, just use a beauty ring on any of the great 22mm in the mouth to lung. Yeah. Right, yeah. Good. Look for bog rats, because that's what they're known as in the fraternity, isn't it? It's called a bog rat. Is it? Yeah, there you go. That's a bog rat. <sighs> yeah, there you go. I can't remember what that is. I think that's a 22 to 24, I think. I think it's 24. Yes, yeah, a 24, that. But you can get them 22 to 23. You can get them all sorts of sizes. Um, yeah, Paul says that he thinks that steam crave tanks are over-engineered. Um, he's had issues with most and still still can't beat the tripod of a K-Fun like 2019. A lot of people like the K-Fun light, didn't they? I still haven't had one. <laughs> I will find one. I will get one at some point. One there. <laughs> Ed Zachary. That, no, is that the Ed Zachary or is that the the official? Let's have a look. Sausage or the official? No, it's the official. No, 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 no. La 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 di la. La di la. It is a pretty looking tank, isn't it? It's the it's the proper one. But there, you see, as I said on my review, look, I've got juice. See that? Yeah. Sitting on the 510. That's what I didn't didn't like about it. It's good, but not perfect, is what I put. Justin, Mark, any reviews coming up? Well, I've just done one on a billet box bridge. I feel that although I don't stock these, I, I feel I want to do one on, on this, the S SVT, yeah. Swiss Fate Technologies uh, tank, the Tel tank, because I think you have to do reviews on... Either you want to send someone a message that you, you're trying to help them, like, you yeah, know, maybe this isn't very good, but this is superb and I love it. And to do what you enjoy. And I, if I enjoy it and I want to do a review, then I will. And, you know, I think I think I may well be doing a review on that. I've just gone on their website. Oh. 
<clears throat> oh, have you? Yeah, I'm having a little look at this stuff. <laughs> well, I've got a mod there. I think it's about 250 quid. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I was just looking at the mods. It's quite nice. But it reminds me of a glorified eye stick. 100. <laughs> uh, 220 euros. Uh, Mark Armstrong, good evening. Happy New Year. Andy Harris, middle hole on the true is my go-to. Whatever that is. Yeah, and the same... To me, that's uh, 1.2, isn't it? 0.8, 1 ohm, 1 1.2, I think, yeah. Um, yeah, same with me. I haven't got mine. I've always, always got a true tank on the go, but I've been using this for the last few days, and uh, it's taken place of my true tank, but the true tank will be back, I can assure you. Did that come with the SVT Arrow then, did it? That, yes, it uh, did, yeah. 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 Is that a rebuildable set? as well or? the arrow i believe i haven't even looked into that that well that isn't really why i bought it i think it takes the aspire coils oh like the nautilus coil is yeah it? yeah right i'm pretty sure it does if not someone will correct me in chat um That's mf right. used to like licorice paper with menthol <laughs> tipping my rollies yeah mf didn't you used to like the longer rizzler papers was that <laughs> teasing him um yeah and pav he likes the middle hole in his true tank perfect for him and kieran i like the bees in my size hole lol very good kieran didn't have kieran down there's someone who's smutty we've lost jay jay again he's 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 frozen and gone i'm still here oh he's back in the I'm room still here. i'm still Don't here still working this end yeah you, we just lost you there briefly Probably because I was drooling over that expensive stuff on that website. <laughs> What's that I put here? This is a long, long comment. <laughs> Big fat syringe like thing linked to a weight balance, the one you use with a hook and a measure the needed force to intake a certain volume. Of oh, right. As to why <sighs> no reviewer does this, I don't know. Oh, I know what he's on. He's on about um, airflow. Yeah, uh, I know what he's on about. I'm trying to picture what he means. A big fat syringe thing linked to a weight balance. I'm using a hook. Uh, it's the same as like the doctors use, isn't it, when you do the breath test? Oh, uh, the old puff test. Yeah, the old inhale test. Yeah, because you have an inhale test. There's an inhale one and there's a blow one. It's like it's kind of like yeah, like he says, it's a big syringe and it's got a meter on it. Right. It goes yeah. in and out. It's it's kind of like, it kind of looks like you remember the old fishing weights. Mm. It's got the mm. scale on it. Well, you got that on the side, and as you draw through it or you blow through it, it goes right. either way. You like depending on what you blow or you yeah. suck. No, Astronaut might have a point there. Might have a point. It might be something worth worth looking at. I remember I did a puff test. I had um, a few years ago now. It wasn't that many years ago. I had pneumonia. And um, that was why I started vaping, pretty much, because I was smoking then. So, it's been a few years now, I suppose. And I went to the doctor, as you do, like two weeks after for a follow-up. Yeah. Um, and she made me do a puff test, and she said, you've got the lungs of a 75-year-old, I think she said. I said, well, you know, have a heart. I said, oh, I've just had pneumonia. Yeah, it took six months to get over that pneumonia. Horrible. It's not, it's horrible stuff. Oh, I, was, I, was, I thought I was gone. I, I thought I was having a heart attack. I couldn't get a breath. Horrendous in my left left lung. Um. Anyway, enough of that. Corgoth, I, I like the 0.8 to 1.2. Anything more, and I end up direct lunging without thinking about it. Yeah, yeah that, that's, um, that's a valid point. Grumpy old vapor. Have you seen the new colours for the Easy Mod? Well, I have. Yes. They're, they're on the website. Um. I think I need to list them a bit better, actually, because it just shows the black in the picture, and, but all the other ones are underneath. And as you need if a picture I, of all of them together on the first bit, don't you? As if by it's magic, slick. there's one. <laughs> That's the, the clear polished. The clear, clear polished is very me. This one, I've got a picture up now. It hasn't come on your screen yet, but I'll put one up now. And it's the yellow. Um, I don't think it is Ultim. So it's not Ultim. It's plastic. We mustn't it's call it plastic. Ultim because it's just like yellow plastic. That's the clear, uh, which, as I say, will be coming on your screen soon. And the clear polished is that one. They're also doing frosted 
yellows, frosted uh, clear as well, and also a blue, like a... Oh, God, what's that? It's like a light blue, isn't it? It's like my wall, oh, isn't it? It's nice. a bit like my wall. Cyan blue. No, it's worse than your wall. <laughs> I think it's horrible. I, I call it a cyan blue. Yeah, it's cyan, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, they're on the site. They're listed there. Um, so... I think I'm going to have to have a clear polished one because I like seeing the board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That I think they, you know, they're going to look nice and they should be, just to give everyone an idea of the date, I think they've been dispatched to me on the 12th. So I'll get them on about the 15th, 16th of this month with a bit of luck. So there you go, Grumpy Old Vapor. Hopefully that's answered your your question. Um, Kieran likes the, the clear one. He's found that tempting. Yeah, I like the I clear one. want the clear one. You might have to get in quick for a clear one. A clear polish for Daniel. Um, I haven't... I've ordered a few, but there's, there's not that... Because there's so many colours... Uh, of variants, yeah. I haven't ordered masses. Uh, I think was it clear polished, frosty polished, uh, polished, uh, polished yellow, and frosty yellow? Is it? And then yeah. the blue. and the blue, yeah. So five. Yeah. Oh no, and full black. Oh, full black, yeah. They're doing a full black version as well. So six colours. Um, I honestly can't remember how many I've ordered. I think it's twenty-five of each. So there's a few, but not. Not masses. I couldn't order too many anyway because they're going on their Chinese New Year and if I'd have ordered too many they wouldn't have got them done in time and I wouldn't have had them till after. So um I might missed you there. Oh yeah, that's Kieran talking to Pav. Uh Grumpy likes the Ultim. Um yeah. In commas. I've only popped in for 30 minutes working tonight. Yeah, but I thought that was your work, Pam. I thought you just watched me and claimed your money. Sure. <laughs> uh, DR, grumpy old vapor. Ultima is nice, but clear polished. I know it speaks to me. Smock RPM. My catch Ultima is nice. <laughs> Bring back the squeaky chair. It's all at sea. You can't win, can you? <laughs> Can make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> so was it a con complete strip down of this chair? Then? Yeah, yeah. The, there was bolts that had been crossed where I did, because I got the chair second hand, so and I didn't put it together. So right, just stripped it all back and cleaned the threads out and put it all back together tight with a ratchet, <laughs> ratchet and Allen key yeah. on a ratchet, and it's fine now. Doesn't make a sound now, does it? No. A little bit of, you know, if you move the arms and that. It's actually quite a nice chair. I'll have to see if I can find another one that same make, like, because it's very comfortable. I'll put your other house, please, as well. She doesn't need... Yeah, so uh, hear the squeaky squeakies now. <laughs> Still squeaky. <laughs> said that. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. I'll put that comment on the screen. Yeah, if you have enjoyed it, stick your thumbs up, folks. It'd be nice to... Just your thumbs up. Always be nice to have that. If you haven't enjoyed it, stick your thumb down. Um, has anyone gone thumbs down yet? I don't think so. No thumbs um, damage. I noticed on my um, Karma review, I got a thumbs down immediately, within seconds. Yeah, so they haven't even watched it. It's all of obviously upset. <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> Bothered? <laughs> <laughs> Bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Shane, I've been told to stop vaping and drinking by social services. They think my seven-year-old is going to drink the juice and drink my gin. For fuck's sake. Bloody <laughs> really? <laughs> is that a joke, Shane, or is that the, the truth? Dear oh law. I suggest... Oh, I've got two thumbs down now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Shane. Just said thumbs down, it? Appreciate that. That's lovely. <laughs> Four thumbs down. <laughs> Oh, you harsh lot. Right, I'm off then. See ya. <laughs> um, Shane, better not um, have any knife bleach or any product at home. No, that's right. I mean, there's worse things than, than vaping. I mean, I think about plug sockets and stuff like that. Yeah. So <laughs> one person's retracted it. It's back to three. Um, down to two. Thank you, folks. Yeah, I see. You see, be nice. What's the matter with you? Twenty twenty and all that. Be nice. Um, Spectre 
I'm still using a cuboid. Yeah, that was it. Was it the? It wasn't the cuboid? It was the other uh, mini mod they did, and they had that in that same cyan-y sort of colour, didn't they? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. They, they did things like the Kanga. Oh, what was it called? The Kanga, uh, the all-in-one box thing. That was no, the it was nightmare. The, this wasn't the Kanga one. It was the whoever who made the cuboid. Um, Joytech. Joytech. It was a Joytech, the mini. Uh, that they made yeah. in that colour. Yeah, they did, yeah, in that weird blue cyan colour, like you say. Um, yeah, Kanga did one as well. What was it called? Something Box, it was called. Do you know the one I mean? Box? Was it the K-Box? K- it was the K-Box. It was the one that you put the coil in the bottom and it just leaked like hell. It was like an all-in-one thing, but the, yeah, it was a pain in the ass to take apart. They did that in the same colour as well. Now I've got one thumbs down. Three have been retracted. Whoever that one thumb is, what was it? I will find you and I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I will find you. I will kill you. Actually, should you say things like that on YouTube? Probably get a yeah. video struck off for that. <laughs> um. Yeah, exactly, Ashford Elf. Yeah, buy a big roll of bubble wrap and wrap him up. Um, Shane, yeah, they're, they're coming over Thursday to check. I'm ready to give them hell. I think you are. How dare they? Cheeky How buggers, dare they t- say that to you? Honestly. They're called <laughs> SS for a reason. Just like have this part of the video on pause and, and just put... How dare they? <laughs> How very dare they? How very dare they? Uh, pair of NIAT three core is brilliant. And mine came around one oh one average. Yep, glad you liked it, Pev. That's the that's this one that I was showing earlier, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What did this came out at? What one ohm? Yeah. So it's one point one six. That one. Bish bosh. There. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's a lot else. Never owned a stock coiler, but Nautilus GT looks nice. Um, nothing wrong with it. Oh, smoke and dry pubes. Tetley man. Behave. <laughs> tea bags, wasn't it? When you couldn't afford tobacco, you yeah. bulked it up with tea bags. Um, Michael Marker, good evening. Happy New Year. Hi, will you be stocking the Vix Kelpie RDA? And if so, do you know when? Uh, yeah, I spoke about that earlier, Michael. They are ordered. They're on their way. And I think they're being sent. I've got the pro- or the sample coming. That was sent today. And I think the rest of the order is getting sent on Wednesday or Thursday of this week. So I'll get it. What was the sample of? Of the Kelpie. Oh, the Kelpie. They're also sending a sample of the new PAL with the 18650. Because oh. Artery and EH Pro, same company. Um, so, yeah, I have them very soon. In fact, you reminded me I must list them on the website. Uh, price wise, I think they're just a touch over 20 quid, so they're not an expensive product. What's that, the Tripper? Sorry? What was that for just over 20 quid? Yeah, the Kelpie. Oh, is it? Oh, I'll be having one of them, Defo. <laughs> uh, the True Vapor. Um, yeah, good evening. Hello. Don't think we've seen you on here before. All right, buddy, how's it going? But welcome. Um, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Mike, you know, I still like the lot. They're talking about Rizla papers. They like that. Why do they? Why would you use longer ones? Do you know? <laughs> um, Coil UK or Coil Proby, I still know them as MF Mike over K Fun and the True Tang is the Glass Mini Mouth the one worth getting one. Um, I would I would say yes if you. I mean they're not a lot of money, are they? So for variation, I would say yeah, I would probably buy one. It's um, quite a nice looking tank. It looks it good nice on top of And it's dinky. And it's got the extension. So. It has, yeah. yeah. I, th- I think it's worth... It's something a bit different and, and worth, you know, the, the punt. I, I, I think, anyway. I yeah. believe so. Um, and they are on my site. But that's not why I said that. I said, <laughs> I said it because I think, yeah, it probably would be worth a punt. 
can we pre-order the new easy mods no paul um i'm not i don't like pre-orders i'll do it now and again but not very often it's just in, in case anything happened which it has in the past parcels get lost then i have to read things don't turn up yeah so i'd rather just wait till they arrived and you know as soon as they arrive if you're either on if you watch this show every week i'll keep you updated so next week i'll probably be saying to you they've arrived or they're coming tomorrow i'll have a tracking number i put a post on twitter very often and on my facebook page so look at any of those formats and also sometimes I'll put on the website new colours arriving. I'll sometimes do that as well and put a date. Uh, Graham, I'm thinking of getting the easy mod when I get paid up with mouth to lung from your site with a clap to mouth to lung cause and maybe one of the tanks would would like to support your company. Bless you, Graham. Thank you very oh, much indeed. Brilliant. I appreciate that. Purity Plus looks very nice on the easy mod, <clears> especially <throat> if you get the uh, extra tanks. To matchy matchy it up that's got the black plastic uh extra tank on it it looks lovely the diamond tank <coughs> the diamond tank yeah yeah i mean i <laughs> i really appreciate comments like grams i i do this i don't get paid for this I, my youtube channel isn't monetized i do it because i enjoy it it's my hobby and it's my business as well but you know i do it for enjoyment but it's nice when someone says things yeah. like MF, let's see what he said. Let's see what his suggestion was. Call UK, I really like the Glass Mini, but in all honesty, they all do the same thing. Depends on whether you can afford it or not. I like to chop and change myself. I guess that's fair comment. You know, it does. I like to chop and change as well. That's why I've got so many different yeah. things. Cause... I can't remember how much they are now, the Glass. They're going to be like 30 quid or under, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, about 33.99 or something like that, they are. are they? Yeah. Yeah, so it's not. It's not massive money, but 30 quid to some people is a lot of money, so I understand that. Um, and MF is reviewing it soon, so keep your eye out for that. I never did review that one, actually. That's it, yeah, the knee box. That was it, the Kanga knee box, that yeah. leaky piece of crap. <laughs> um, and Graham wants to know if the clear easy mods are going to be the same price. They are actually a little bit more, but I'm going to keep them at the same price. So yeah. the answer to you is yes. They are the same price. Mainly because it's easier for paperwork and setting the website up. I mean, there's, I think there's two dollars difference. Or something. Yeah, sure. Keep it the same. <laughs> I haven't done very well with my uh, Timothy Taylor landlord. I do like that beer. Are you a beer drinker? I like a nice beer. Is it an ale or is it a proper beer? Or no, a it's lager? a pro proper. No, it's not a lager. Good God, no. <laughs> it's not an ale. No, ale. not a real ale. Well, Strong or light? Or... And the classic pale ale. Pale ale. Oh, nice. well, it's pale ale, really, I don't think. Might be nice in a stew, though, eh? Yeah, well, I like it anyway, it's good. Yeah. Uh, Key says he must have the Alton one. Well, I think, oh, look at the time. I thought, is it 10 o'clock yet? It's nearly quarter past. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what have I been doing? Yadda, yadda, yadda. <laughs> I'm just trying to think, someone asked earlier, am I going to review anything else in upcoming? If, if anyone wants something reviewed that I've got, you know I've got, because I've just told you. Um, I might well do the Precisio. That might be a nice one to That's do. A nice one to do, yeah. Um, the, actually, I had a picture of the Dang. What did I the do? Dang. 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 Bosh, there it is. There's the inside of the dang that will come to you in about 24 seconds, James. But that's the, the dang dripper that we've got on the site now. And here it is. Anyone who wasn't tuning in earlier, a bit hard to see because it's in black. Yeah, it's in matte black as well, isn't it? like yeah. a satiny matte black. But it is very good. One of my favourite drippers, you can't fuck, they're like rocking horse poo to get hold of. Nice. Um, I've got the, you remember the Dead Rabbit SQ? Yes, yeah, okay, yeah. Cracking yeah, little dripper, single there. dripper. You try to get, because I want to get a stainless steel one, because it's nice on there, because it's matchy matchy with that, with mm. black. I'm usually stainless steel, me. Right. Uh, Keith, must have the old one, review Precisio and Tell Tank. 
there you go so and that's that's the tell but if you watch what have i been vaping all through this i've been on the, the tell tank i know i know i said it before look at what you're vaping on even if you've got six seven things in front of you what do you think they got subconsciously vape on without even knowing and that's probably the one you're enjoying most at that time grumpy old vote i used to like a drop of landlord hand pull from the cask when it yeah i know it's it's lovely you know in a pub like that. let's all get blotto together it's only five <laughs> i don't normally ever drink when i do the, these things i usually drink squash but i just fancied one tonight why not Nick? why not uh, jay that setup looks killer mark excellent you're the man thanks oh, that's nice of you yeah, that's the Purity Plus MTL with the plastic um, add-on tank for it. Diamond it's tank. Diamond tank, that's what it's called. All available from HV. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look, Dion Simeo picked up the Danny Box mod and the k Fun light. Oh, I'm, I'm a little bit envious of that. I nearly treated myself to one over Christmas, and I thought, no, I spent enough. I've but... got a Pravari P3 coming soon. Oh, have you? Yeah. Crocky. <laughs> <laughs> you're going back to all the old stuff that's what i've i found myself well the thing is i'm picking stuff up that was like like ridiculously expensive when i seen them come out i'm picking them up for smart money do you know what i mean yeah and when you can pick something little, little um genesis that tank the old kit you... oh the genesis oh what did yeah. i pay for that something daft like 40 quid or something well, that, that was over 100, wasn't it, when they were... Yeah, out. something like that, yeah. I didn't pay a lot of money for it. I can't remember what I paid for it now. I really can't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, you can. There are some bargains to be... Might have, been, might have been a bit more than that. I can't remember. I know it wasn't I know it wasn't mega bucks for what it is, like, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Keith, Danny Box is great. Just another look. Oh, dear. See, Keith, I mustn't talk to Keith much more on the phone because... I'll be skinny. He's getting hit by all this stuff. <laughs> and I know he's got the Danny box. I know he has. The Danny stuff's nice, but... Mm. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, we've hit that, more than hit that time. So uh, I think it's time to go, folks. But as I say, it's been... it's been. It seems like forever since, since I've done this show. It's only three weeks ago, but, you know, it does seem a long time. There's... Daniel from Big D Vapes, how are you? So, would you like to say goodbyes? Thanks for watching, guys, and it's nice to be back, and we shall see you next week. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Short and sweet. Two seconds. Yeah. Short and sweet. Thanks for watching. Just Don't forget to give a sub if you haven't already, and hit that thumbs up button. Just seen that Lynn says she still uses her Provari. There you go. Still got mine. <laughs> A, can you see yeah. that one? That's an old yeah. Provari. Yeah. So, but I mean, the trouble is, a coil has to be over one ohm, I think, otherwise yeah. it won't work. That's, that's fine with your one point three four, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, all the comments coming in. Thanks ever so much, guys. Been a lovely show as always. A um, lot of input input from people, which is always good. Without yeah. that, you know, the show goes stale. So, enjoyed that. Happy New Year to everyone. Let's hope this year just isn't a bumper year. When I say yeah. bumper, I mean bumpy. Like, <laughs> bumpy. much of this legislation and stuff thrown at us. Let's hope, you know, things continue to come forward. New products. I have got exciting new news coming through, but more on that later. And until next time, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Cheers, guys. Ta-da. <laughs>